Whew, that was a relief. So that's all in. Thank you. Well, as I was saying, so trolley concrete have been now done that, so massive relief. So that's most of the grab done. Skippers in, materials are dropped, materials, materials are dropped, and the concretes are in. The concrete, oh my god, I'm going to do that again. And good morning, day three. You can take a look at this in the daytime now. So, we got all that dug out with Jason the other day. And yesterday, the building control guy came and approved all of this, so we're good to go. So obviously, at some point today, we'll get the levels in and get the pins in, what have you. Um, Today though is a it's a busy day. First off we've got the grab wagon to get rid of all this rubbish. <laughs> and then at some point we're getting the bricks dropped off. And then in the afternoon the concrete's coming. So it's a pretty busy day. <laughs> but we're here nice and early. We're ready for ready for everything. I'm gonna bail this water out a little bit that's in here. And then we'll get these levels in. And then it's just a case of waiting for the stuff. Probably tr is the trench block coming. Um, all the big deliveries are getting today. Trench block, fiber lights. Um, trench block, fiber lights. The bricks, four packs of bricks, sand, cement, um, concrete. I think that's it. So we can get the trench all cleared out, can't we? Yes. We just need to pray that when the grab wagon comes, we don't uh, get a cave in. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll um, we'll see when something happens then. First thing, can you hear me now? So, that's all the pins marked in. I think that's the earliest we've ever been ready for concrete. So, all that's in. Now, we're just um, bailing out that water, waiting for this grab wagon to come. Um, that's, really, that's really about it. We're, uh, no, Fingers he's... crossed, we're going to get an all on one wagon, but I'm not very hopeful. Yeah, well, you've, you've seen how much crap there is. We're hopeful that it might fit on one wagon, but we uh, won't be surprised if it doesn't, so it's been one of those things. It's, uh, it's weird being this ready. Usually we're uh, tripping over ourselves trying to get ready. There we are. <laughs> it's a small win after this dig that we've had, so yeah, um, we'll. Uh, We'll see when something exciting happens then, since we're just feeling that water for now, so catch you in a minute. Okay, so what time are we are now? I always say that, don't I, before I check. We are on 9.36, Thursday 9th of Feb. 
we're all set, levels are in, we've, done, we've gone through all this, but um, the grab's coming later than we thought, <clears throat> he's on his way over, he's quite a way out, so hopefully we'll get the grab done before the concrete, if not we'll just have to cover the concrete with boards as he's grabbing next to it. So because we're just stood around waiting now, there's still some more to take out for inside the slab, so we're going to take, start out at that end and work our way down, get the laser level set up, and just chip, just dip it with the laser level as we go. Um, don't think we mentioned or not, but we've gone from DPC by the front door, which is where the front door's opposite, so that's got to be bang on. When you get across the same last extension, it's um but how far out would you say that is Alan? Oh, 20, 20 mil? mil? Yeah. Yeah, that um this brickwork at this end is 20 mil higher than the brickwork at this end. Which doesn't sound bad. But if we have to choose in, then it's not gonna work because We'll have to build that out yeah. level to make the tubers work. So we'll have to run the whole extension 20 mm level, which we don't want to do. So we could end up just doing a butt joint. Not ideal, but you've got to just work with what you've got. Which isn't easy. So obviously we're 300 below there for our floor. And we're going to be a bit lower than that because the because our floor level runs lower than the brickwork. Because the brickwork runs up our slab will be level, so we'll be slightly lower than DPC at that end, which is how it works. So, it's just whipping up the crazy paving, and then we're going to take the big flags out, I'm not sure if they're going or not, and then we're going to start digging out and coming along this way. And then, got our ramp set up for the barrows. Because that's going to take a human being and a hundred kilo run, a real barrow full of concrete. So, um, yeah. We'll crack on and we'll start working this way. We can look that end so the, obviously the sun's in the way, so we'll swap it around.
Oh, now that is what I call satisfying. And it's the only time lapse. You even get one bloody roots out. <laughs> you see for yourself how long some of them bloody roots are. It's damaged the uh, pavement a little bit, but that's not going to be a problem at all. We just need to. Need some berries and grab some tarmac for that. That's an easy 10 minute fix, that. So, just getting the last bit now. For now. Beautiful. You saw how big that pile of crap was, and then all that too. So, it's just that bit left. So, if you're up in the Leyland area, go at Wesleyan Sons, that's what you want to do. Pretty amazing, great driver, very skilled, very helpful. Happy days, and as you saw as well, thank you very much to Fairwoods for a battle against the elements, against the sun in the hedge, and still getting all this in nice. So, then our trench, four inch, sand, cement. Just gonna pick up some uh, seven newton block and all that for the foundation, but that's about it. So. Full steam ahead day today, <laughs> but it's, it's typical how we, we were waiting, waiting all morning, and then two arrive at the same time. <laughs> Thankfully, the concrete didn't come too. So we'll just get it, get that crap that's fell in, get that out, and then nice one. I, I know I'm getting old when I find this stuff amazing. <laughs> But yeah, so enough enough babbling. Let's um, get you set up somewhere while we get more stuff sorted. And here they are, 20 past one. So, as usual, I'll get you set up and you can watch the magic happen. I need to probably get that moved. So, <laughs> get you set up.
there we have it. It's always a relief once the concrete goes in. So that was Chorley Concrete done our foundation. So that is the concrete done, the materials dropped off, the grab has been and the skip is here. Very productive day which makes up for the uh, <sighs> dig from hell. <laughs> I can't sugarcoat it. But happy days. It's always, as I say, it's always satisfying once that's in. So now we're just going to get this slab part more prepped. So then that way once we've got the trench block in and everything, we can just literally get the hardcore dropped off in the middle to get spread and get that slab ready. So I'll throw you on time, that's how we get that sorted and uh, see you for the outro or whatever. Well, it seems we, well, I forgot to film an outro again, so, from from the office. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you'll always be notified when we upload. It's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support. This has been Brick Cleaning with Steve and Alex, and we'll see you for the next one.